All right, and welcome back. Let's just jump right into it because I don't really have much to say. We are on episode seven, I believe, of From. I am very excited, less excited now as I was a couple episodes ago, but that's only because I feel like it's slowing down, but it's building up to something. So I'm not disappointed, you know? Does that make sense? Right? So that's kind of where I'm at right now. And yeah, we kind of... Sarah was being held captive by the priest and she was hearing things from, I'm assuming the VDE now because they told the truth and said to dig this bag up, whatever, and he found alcohol and chocolate and everything. So I assume he like, I I think he's one of the two cars previously and killed his wife and kid or something like that. Then we also have the like new family in that, in the town that is the wife is like digging down into the ground in the middle of their basement. So trying to figure out where all the electrical comes from. So I don't know. Then at the end, we had a little bit of a cliffhanger. We the Some random guy has like a girlfriend and is like in love with a VDE on the outside of the at night. I don't know. So let's see. I feel like this episode's going to be I have a feeling this is either going to be one of two. It's either going to be peak and then draw down until another peak for the finale or it's going to be a slowed up and then the last like three are going to be peaking up if that makes sense that's kind of what i noticed with shows i think i mentioned this a few episodes ago but either way let's get into it i'm excited congratulations congrats is that what that said i couldn't see i should wear uh, i should really wear my glasses fatting was that someone's name Oh, Fatima. I'm so sorry, Fatima. I couldn't see the second half. I don't know. It just seems kind of weird to be celebrating the day that you got stuck here. You're looking at this the wrong Oh, that's you? Oh, hi, Fatima. Uh, anybody up for a little pregame? Baby, the party hasn't even started yet. <laughs> I know. I know. That's why it's called a pregame. Go easy, okay? Yeah, I know. I know. I'm sorry. I think it's valid to be an alcoholic in this situation. I take that back instantly because I just remembered what happened in the first episode. Okay, come on, man. I mean, you of all people should be hammered today. I mean, how many years? <laughs> Victor looks more than just like an alcoholic. He's looking for the stash of heroin, it seems like. They're gone? I thought I had a few more cans stashed away in the basement, but... It's... The peaches are gone. That's the one thing that's never changed. Now they're gone. I was gonna say, I'm sorry, Victor. don't you just wait for more to show up? They already kind of said that they don't really know where the food comes from, which kind of does. So what, now the VDEs are picking your menu? They're picking your diet for you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what to expect. So I assume what's gonna happen in this episode is they're having a party of sorts. They're celebrating at least. So I don't want to say that the guy's going to let his girlfriend in because that just seems like, you know, that it's going to start a bloodbath. But like, how can you actually be manipulated after being here for a while? It would have to be like only the new people that get fucked up, right? Unless the VDEs are like that manipulative. I don't know. We haven't really, we still haven't seen much of them. How do you get up now? Your kid's going to wake up when you move, I feel. But also you could pick a kid up and move him to a bed and... They like wake up like, holy shit, I fucking teleported. So I'm, yeah, I'm just guessing that this priest like drunkenly killed a bunch of people in a car accident. Pretty sure you violated about a dozen child labor laws by having them dig in the basement all day. No, he was having fun. He just wanted to help. You're in a town where there's like no laws right now, really, other than be home before sundown. So there's no child laws to break. Put him to work. It's all good. Fuck. And then I think about Julie up in that house. Donna? lady who runs the place she might be a a what it's definitely not stupid a what she seems wonderful there's no i don't notice a single thing wrong with her and look look on the bright side at least we got our hole in the basement to fall back on or in or in true thinking realistically everybody hey shut your fucking mouth <laughs> yeah shut the fuck up that all of you have come to know her and to love her for her kindness, for her strength, for her wisdom. And for her weed. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, yeah, you brought the weed? This is so beautiful. May it catch all the bad dreams and let only the sweet ones reach you. 
I don't know. I don't know what to think of that. This this show's so cryptic. I'm getting strong Lost vibes, and it's not good. Like if you if you've seen Lost, I feel like they're opening so many threads and questions, but not going to answer that much. Happy anniversary, gorgeous. Thank you. Damn. Wait, are you upset thinking that she was going to be getting with you? Because I thought she was with the guy. Oh, not on me. It's yours. I'm not talking about the shirt. I'm talking about the blood. Oh no, that's just raspberry jam. I mean, what? What is it? What the fuck is going on? You're a terrible cop. Can you not figure? We've never really discussed who we used to be. If he says his child died, then I'm gonna be like, yeah, no shit. Did this cop not see it coming? You know, he wasn't really the type of kid to stray too far from his parents. They were very. Young. I just wanted to molest him. Cause I'm a priest, you know. That's what we do. And I could smell the alcohol the moment I stepped through the door. Oh, so it wasn't even like your alcohol? Get up. Get up, he said. And I stepped in the room and there he was. This sweet, innocent boy. So you sent a kid to his death, technically. In his pocket. The candy bar. Should have taken a bite. Would have given him some chocolate superpowers. Next thing I remember, I was standing on a bridge holding that bottle in my hand. And it was the first time in my life that I heard the voice of God. Oh, then why'd you become a priest? So did you take the candy bar and whose shirt was that? Why did I put the middle finger up? Why are you telling me all this now? Because I have Sarah tied up in the basement of the church. That there's a reason we're here. That there's a path we're meant to follow. And I know it- I'm on his side. Keep- No, yeah, no, 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 no. Put the- Put the gun down. I'm on his side. Sarah, fuck it. Oh, let's go. The pedophile looking guy. Got the stash and everything. Actually, no, he doesn't look like a pedophile. He looks like a hardcore hipster. This dude gets bagels. Why won't you let me in? Why don't you go out there, huh? Why don't you come out? You are the only one that I want to be with. You are the only one that I can really talk to. I thought that was going in a different direction. I thought I was going to be like, just go kill them all. I'll open the door. You go kill them all. Now. Dun, dun, dun. Huh? I'm pretty sure he can knock you out. Take him upstairs before he starts shooting up the place. Okay, that was. Is it because he's black? Was that what? Was that racially charged or what? I don't get that. I don't get what what that. Did your dad shoot up the place at one point? Did you shoot up the place at one point? And now close the window, quick. <laughs> Okay, okay. What if she's actually just, what if they actually are in love, right? Just the two of us. Just the two of us. My handsome boy. My hands are so. Did you think they would be cold? Well, you've been outside. I don't know. Just the two of us. Uh, it would be, it would actually be kind of cool if these two just fall in love and then they're like the, the linchpin into causing like society to be okay between the VDEs and them. Oh, she, no, she's killing him. Look at that. She's going to kill him. Yeah. Mm. Choke her out. Oh no, she's biting him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What'd you expect? Can the VDEs take different pe like faces? Is now the guy that looks like Kevin going to come down and just start killing people as a VDE? Or is there, do they always look the same? You know what I mean? Take off your shirt. I'm not going to lie. You drive me crazy sometimes. That's not a shirt. That's a sweater or like a cardigan. Can I ask you something? Sure. Why don't you like me? I thought we, I thought we were vibing together. No, I love he's, he's my person. The thing with Stacy, that's just, you know, fooling around. Then, like, can we just, like, fool around? Is that what she's gonna ask? Do you think... You're underage. Could I kiss you? You're underage. Why the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, uh, Julia. No, I was... I was just kidding. I didn't mean... No, sweetie. No, you know what? I just forget it. Uno reverse. I'm, I'm just kidding. Bye. I'm, I get it. You want to explore your sexuality. Maybe you think you're lesbian or you know you are and you want to try it out. But I think you're asking like a 26, 27 year old. And you're what? You said you, they were said you were 16. Whatever it is, it's a part of the fabric of this place. Okay. Whatever connection Sarah has makes her valuable in ways we may not even. Okay. Okay. So no, it's maybe not the BDEs that she's hearing. It's something separate. Like I said before before and they're actually trying to help but it needs sacrifices so maybe it's not 
it's like a not the best good thing. It's like a chaotic good. I don't know. I don't think it works the best when you stand up. You're using your muscles right now. You can't fully relax them while you're standing up. At least sit down. Are they gonna fuck in this hole? Oh my god. It's amazing. Yeah, they're, they're gonna fuck in the hole. That's a good breeze. A VDE breeze. Oh shit, what the fuck? They just changed cameras. Like the way it morphed from one shot to another, it wasn't just like they panned from inside to the outside. Like they just full on seemed like they changed the ca the camera, the type of camera they used. Like the same, different focal lenses and everything. Can I come in? Now you're gonna try to hook up with Victor? Is that your plan? Are you going somewhere? No, I'm just... Gonna go measure the trees again. That's uh, hard to explain. I'm gonna go look for my peaches, actually. This page, it's... What? Yeah, there's two pages stuck together here. He's supposed to be really smart, but I feel like that's very easy to feel. Oh, okay. Victor! Yo, she said that like, that was, that was so weird. That was like really good English suddenly. Victor! Holy shit. But I guess if it's a name, it makes sense. You know, you say a name, Victor, 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 Victor. If you only speak like Japanese, Korean, Chinese, Spanish, French, like but when it comes to names, you'll say it kind of properly in a sense. Not properly, but without an accent, I guess. What are you laughing at? Yep. A. Oh no, no. No, oh, they got blood on the pillow. They're in. So what do you do now? Ooh, they're slow movers. I don't know why I'm bumping my head like there's a beat playing. Does he have a secret cavern? Oh. Go where? Hello? Answer me. Well, just listen to him. I would, even though he's a bit crazy, I would trust the fuck out of Victor. That dude has been here the longest. He knows what's up. Follow Victor, follow Victor, follow Victor. Actually, I guess Victor's following you in this case. What a decent guy as well. He, the only reason he sent her first is because he knows she's in a skirt and it would have been really uncomfortable for him to go first. And, you know, so he's sending her to go first. So it's not as uncomfortable, you know? Hey, dog. I am not running. Okay, you got to get those people to town. Save as many as you can. So what's the point? What's the point in having the colony house if you're just going to go to the town? Oh my God. Hurry up. Shut the fuck up. Let him do his work. Okay, you took a while. Let him do his work. Let him get down there, okay? Follow the boy. Follow the boy. Follow the boy. If you want to see your family, you can, we have to go to the trees. Go to the trees and go to the teleporting hole. Become Alice. What if that's what this is? This is just a giant Alice in Wonderland world. That we, like, a very miniature, actually. Um, That we haven't even, like, scratched the sur surface of. You know what I mean? This is just an Alice in Wonderland metaphor, analogy type thing. Jump out the window, head first, who gives a shit? I'd rather break break a leg than die. Oh, and there's even a, like a rooftop there? Yeah, you're good. That's only like a 12 to 15 foot drop. You got that. Tuck and roll. Okay, you didn't have to jump right on your side. It's crazy how people sober up real quick in predicaments like this. You know, when, when, when danger occurs, they suddenly sober up. In movies, at least. Now you're gonna relock them out. Oh no, you're gonna make a mini house out of this. Don't be like that. You were, I wasn't. So what, someone just let them in and now they can just, they just were allowed in after that? They didn't need need to have worry about like the symbol or anything, the talisman or whatever they call it. Allowing them in that one time was okay. And now they have to like redo it the next day over. You find your brother, you have to warn him, you have to tell him. It's I don't know what you're talking about. He will. Go Alice. Oh, I thought it was gonna cut to black. Oh, we're in the basement now. It's like a magic trick. When he threw that rock, I think it was, into the tree and it fell above them, how did it fall behind them? Was someone else in that room and throwing it back through the doorway? Or I don't know if he's gonna get pissed off at her or not, but like she had she took the lead role of like 50 people in this building, okay? So no! No, Damn. I looked away for a quarter second, then saw him get slashed in the face. Damn it. Can they get infected? Is he now going to turn into a VDE? It's a double-edged sword when you get cut on the throat because you want to stop the bleeding, put as much pressure as you can, but you don't want to choke him out. Stay with me. Pray with me. 
pray with me and you'll see all a world of something imaginations oh uh, no i liked the priest he was kind of a badass damn it i wanted to see him turn into like a priest with like shotguns just walking down just <coughs> Bang! Just mowing down the fucking VDEs, but nope. Looks like they killed him off. We're getting like a death per episode. Um, but yeah, that was episode seven of From. Again, very good episode actually. This one ramped up, and I'm assuming next episode's gonna kind of continue the ramp, or it's gonna fall off and then ramp up later on. Or at least that's what I hope. I have I genuinely have no idea. I'm just making predictions. So next episode, I suspect either it's gonna be a continuation of this where it's like follow of the rest of the night or it's gonna be like next morning and we see like julie recuperate with the family and then boyd go into the forest or whatever his plan is i assume his plan is to like drive off in a car or something like that with a talisman and see how far he can get or something like that but i don't know we shall see i'm very excited we got three more episodes left so let's get into them let's continue watching and i'll see you next week i guess i've been a guy named chase i enjoy movies and tv shows pretty much everything film related and i hope you enjoyed what you watched so have a wonderful day and goodbye